Hello everybody, welcome back to more Ravina 1.0. We've got the, I guess what I'm going to call the leaf shield gun. You know, we can orbit a couple bullets around us and shoot them out. I'm excited to check it out here on Shard 26. What have I added? I added uh, one rank of local customs I'm curious about. I think it's a 25% chance to get a temporary curse, I think. We'll have to see. A, a curse that you don't get to choose, and but goes away at the end of the floor, I, I believe. I also have one rank of expansions. We may turn this one off. I I do think that this one's actually like a good one for making runs relatively, like uh, climbing shards without making the runs necessarily harder, because there is benefit in it, but I just don't want the runs to be absurdly long. 10% damage up? Excuse me? Additional big chest at the end of an area if you skipped at least one big chest during the area. Uh, strange. Familiar that shoots bullets. Your bullets have a chance to poison. Fire rate while moving, I do really like. I feel like I'm going to go for the 10% damage up. For sure. There's two 10% damage ups? What? Okay, fine. I'll start the run with actual damage. Sure. And then I'll go for the moon blossom. And at this point, I've traded so much stuff, I should probably just get the freaking key, right? At this point, probably. How, do, how does this work? I, I feel like I should. All right? All right. 20% damage up. Increased movement speed or uh, damage fire rate while moving. Oh, my God. And a key. And a key. This is a great start. Blinded. Rooms are filled with darkness. Oh, my God. We, we got it. We got a room modifier or a floor modifier. Okay. That's uh, Cursed Customs. Small chance to also lose max HP when taking damage. Enemies might burst into a poison cloud on death. Is annoying. It's not as bad as barf. I'll, I'll take it because I currently don't have any, like, shielding situations set up or anything, but... Alright. Oh my god. Okay, so the fact that we do have the extra fire rate while moving, I just realized how good that is with this run. We can do something more like this. You know, we can just walk around back here, launch him out. This is the start of something beautiful, baby. This is the start of something beautiful. All right, move, move, move. So I'm trying to, I'm judging based off of like how many bullets we get around us. How good this is of an increase. God, I hate the darkness though. It's already so tough to see this stuff, you know? When do we fire? Like, because see, we're missing often. When is the best time to fire? We also could just use it like an actual orbiting shield. Hit the enemies. It's a little bit riskier, I would say, though. But when they're close enough like that, I guess there's no real harm in it. Oh, my God. Ugh. It's a weird one, Mr. Grinch. All right. Let's go for the heal. I, I probably won't take a two option, but I'll, I'll, I'll see. Immunity to ice and honey and increase your max HP. I like this item because it gives you like a little bit of everything. Max HP is nice, but it goes above and beyond because it does put you one step closer to two separate synergies and it gives you the immunity. It's kind of nice. Uh, additional max HP gives you shields. I don't think it's bad. Orange shoes is up. Like, that's obviously good. Comes with a curse. It's also kind of boring in the sense that it's just damage. I'm going to take this because it's cheap and it gives us lots of ingredients for something later. Like, if I didn't start with all of the damage ups, maybe I'd consider it. But I'm like, wait. Oh, look at that as well as a another method of firing out our shots. Holy crap, I'm so glad that worked. If we're standing to the right of them, we can use it like a almost a weird like lobber shot. Like a weights, but maybe better. Okay, so the wall guy I don't think can uh Oh we have it. We have it. Oh we have free piercing through walls. Look at that. Okay. Alright. This run's got... This run's got elements. 
It's got elements, baby. F7. All right. Go, go, go. Yeah, this this feels like it is not the correct way to play this gun. Tap shooting it like this. But honestly, it's kind of not bad. It gives us... We have free wall piercing. Pretty good fire rate and everything. I, I don't know, man. It's pretty good. All right, I think we heal. I was thinking we save it. Oh, my God. Go, 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 go. We save it because I thought the boss was coming up, but I forgot. We, we added three whole floors or three whole rooms, I guess, would you call it? This has incredible range. This is just a good gun. This is, that's just all there is to it. Damage up. If nothing else, that's right. Yes, yes, it's an item on top of it, I'm sure. I'm sure it is. But I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Huh. I mean, it's easy to like a gun when you start with um, a 20% damage up. It's really easy to like a gun. What is this? Shrine of Swiftness? I'm actually going to say no. I don't actually care. If it's just movement speed, I don't really care. For temp. Permanent movement speed? May maybe. And maybe it could have been that. God dang, man. Go, go, go. You would think that this would be really, really hard to aim. And the answer is it kind of is. Oh my god. Oh, if I had the 10% move speed buff on for enemies, that would have been damage. That would have been damage. I think I turned that off. Which, I don't know. I will say Curse Customs, not that bad right now. Is this bad for, like, visibility? Yes. Do I, do I prefer to have it off for YouTube video reasons? This curse? Yes. But it's not proving to be really that big of a deal. But yeah, and any, like, curse that modifies, like, um, how visible the game is and stuff like that in a roguelike, I'm usually like, no, thank you, man. I'm, I, I take that, uh, very rarely. I did hit this, right? Yeah, okay. Boop, boop, boop. Go for it. We're at max, we go for it. If we can get extra max HP, this is just the most optimal time to do it. Go for it. What a great run. Am I going to Beeland? Am I going to Beeland? Let's go. Wait, where, the, where was that extra bullet coming from? We got Tiny Arena. Oh, no. It's okay. The good news is our damage is actually wild. But yeah, this is Tiny Arena. So dash fast. Okay, good, 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 good. We're fine, we're fine. Yeah, we can actually get the spikes in. Good. Look at that DPS. Look at that DPS. Look at it go. Oh, we got another one in. We're good. We're golden. Oh, we're golden. Oh, we're golden. Oh, why would you do this to me? Oh. Uh. Thank you. Do we want to go to bees? Let's go to bees. I don't think we went to bees yesterday. I don't... I don't think we did. It's hard to say. We did two runs yesterday, didn't we? It's hard to say. I didn't even look at what our lava lamp is here. We had to start with a couple items. Bullets create more bullets while flying. Oh! A 3% chance. You know, I kind of want to go for that. Just seems fun. Like go for a, a couple upgrades into that. 6%. Up that baby. Increase your luck. I don't know exactly what luck does. It just I'm assuming it's helpful. Like, I can make assumptions. Okay, this is nice. Okay, this is fun. All right, I like it. All right, all right, all right. All right, this is a fun run. Oof. Okay, well, at least it's temporary, and at least it's on this floor. 
and not another one where that is like guaranteed damage. There, there's some boss fights, like I would say that underwater world, Barf is, is a guaranteed hit. This is such a run, man. I want that, I want that so bad! God, this is such a run. Wow! Is it strong? Yes, but more than that, it's like, it's fun. Oh my god! Look at her go! Look at her go! Scoot, scoot, scoot. Imagine if we got... Oh, I don't even know if I'd want Tesla Coil today. Oh god, now we poison enemies when we kill enemy... Or we put poison clouds down when we kill enemies and when we... Oh, did we go there? Do we go to alt path? 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 I'll tell you what, I'll go to alt path. I skipped it yesterday with, uh, even though I had the boots. Even though I had my booties, I skipped it. I'll go alt path. Hopefully not beef up the second key. We'll get the double items. Because I do think we can handle it today. Uh, freeze all enemies on getting hit. Hold down the jump button to slow your descent. I don't have synergies for any of these. I don't also don't really care. Could skip these and take a cursed chest, but I'm curious about I'm curious about this heart synergy. I think that that might be an angle to go for. I don't know, maybe, maybe slow fall is better than I think, though. Do we have infinite range? I think we have infinite range! You what, mate? Just keep moving, just keep moving. You know what, let's shoot that guy through the wall. Can't believe we just, like, happen to have wall piercing, too. Like, it's so good. I mean, this the gun would be terrible without it. That is the thing. Like, imagine you shoot, but your shots get caught on the floor. That would that would suck. That would suck real bad. Oh, what the heck? Uh, familiar that shoots bullets at enemies. Okay. Okay. It's also like a great gun for finding secret rooms without trying too hard, which I've come to really appreciate in a gun. Oh my God, the poison. Okay. Ooh, Nelly. I also appreciate it. It looks like Barf does not go. Ooh, I have a shot. I have a shot. Nice. It seems as though Barf does not go well. Uh, we're in the honey. The room's over. As it shouldn't, might I say. As it should not. Bum, bum, ba da ba da. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who's that? Wall boy? Oh, wall boy. These guys can drop things on my head. Just be careful. Just have the poison on the wall. Not great. God, I just, oh, this is so good. This is so good. Did we find a secret room? I don't think so. Man, the extra three rooms makes floors a lot longer. Go, 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 go. I wish we could get even more extra bullets. I'm sure I could, I'm could. i going to get offered like a, an extra multi-bullet or something, but I'm afraid to take a thing like that today. I feel like it would ruin the run. All right. I would not have thought tap shooting was going to be the way to go. But it certainly does seem to be. Feels like it's not quite in the spirit of the gun, but also, does that really matter? If it's, like, clearly working better, does it really matter? Next. Next. 
survive. Ah. Can't get down. Uh, such a tiny room. A tiny old room for a moon barf. Don't kill. Should have gone for the jump. Should have gone for the balloon. Ah, I was thinking. I was thinking that. Think that might be the case. Even bigger floor. I think I'm gonna go for the chest at this point. Like I'm, I don't have a ton of items. I gotta tell you, I feel like maybe luck is busted. Maybe luck is busted. Is that? Does luck impact your drops? I would assume it would. I would assume it would. That'd be logical. What we got here? Fire rate right up even more? Look at us go. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Freaking beautiful. I feel like we got one of the best guns for the shoot extra bullets business. Shoot extra bullets while the guns like, you know, flying out. The bolts flying out. Really nice. I think we hold off on our, um, our souls. Go! Through the wall! Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, one second. Alright, okay. Alright, just keep on moving, keep on grouping. I mean, if there's a day to have, I guess, the the barf curse. This is honestly a pretty good one for it. Look at this DPS! Because we are going to be perpetually on the move. Making it quite a bit better. Go, 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 go. go. Let's go! Okay, not bad. Not bad. This is a speed run weapon. I'm not saying we're doing it speed run fast, but this is a speed run weapon. Uh, I, I, I'm at full anyways. I, I don't know what to do with that. I, there's, it's just suboptimal. There's just nothing good about it. Nothing like I, I, I would have rather broken that if I had soul container space, but I don't. So, uh, well. I guess I'm going to be ditching this curse. Because we are going down here. Whoop. Nope. 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 I'm going to be ditching this curse here because we have to do it to get the extra little secret thing here. Do I care? Chance for crits to occur up. Great. And I might as well get this. I. This doesn't give me a free one as well, right? Ah... It's a bummer. It doesn't give us a free one if we already have one. That makes sense. Kind of a bummer today, but it feels like it's just less valuable on average there. But hey, I'll take it. It's fine. It's fine. Get the shield go. Charge it up. Unleash hell. Okay. Do I really care about the curse we have? No, not, not necessarily. I don't really mind if we have it or we don't. Charge it up, charge it up. Unleash hell. Just keep on moving, keep on grooving. <sighs> yeah, if we could just teleport the shard 30 on this run, it'd be, uh, we'd have a uh, red hoodie in no time. Let me tell you that much for free. We're already not too far off. Like, I, I really do think, like, I think we'll get another, like, a loss or something before then. I do think that'll be the case. But I think generally we're, we're going to make it there in roughly whatever. We have to do 26, 27, 28, 29, and then we have to beat 30. So that's five. Five including this one. 
I think we'll do it in generally in, in a in a week. I think we will have it done in a week. That's allotting for like two losses. I don't know how nasty it's going to get up near the top, but it basically just depends on are we going to get a terrible trashy run or not. That's really what it comes down to. Sorry, I have a delivery coming and I'm just, I'm not sure if it's here or not. I keep on getting confused. Oh boy. I keep on getting confused if it's here or not. That's why I keep doing this little micro pauses. This is just, this is just cheese central right here. I love me a flying champion enemy. They cannot tell a frag yet, baby. Cannot be done. Guys, this is a win today. I'm going to have to do something outrageously stupid, like take glass cannon with no shields or something. Let's go, flying enemy elite. We can cheese the hell out of a flying elite. I don't I don't have to play play fair. Nothing saying I got to play fair against them. Nothing saying I got to play fair. All right, heal up once, and then I guess we are just... I, I, I don't know. I guess here we are. Well, we'll heal up, I guess, after we do some sacrificing. Chopping. Okay, what do we got? That's maxed out. We could go for an extra more luck. I mean, like 10%. I don't know. It feels like it might be really good. Fire rate up even more is cool. 5%. Eh? I'll go, with, I'll go with luck. I don't know. 40% luck seems great. Freeze, I couldn't care less. Jump height, I couldn't care less. Fire rate, I, I could care a little. You know what? Fine. Let's go silly. It's such a strong run. Let's do the stupid thing that I said would have to be done in order to get us uh, killed, you know? It's very much a game of rich get richer. Destroys... I've got... It's a 25%... Am I crazy? Is it a... It's a 25% chance. Am I crazy? And I've gotten it every single time, and now you gave me one that's permanent? Like, more or less, that is permanent. That is going to stick with me my entire run. That could take my, um... That could take my bullets come out of my bullets item. And really just strip the entire fun out of this. I feel like I can't take Cursed Customs. I feel like I can't take it. It's not that it's not worth it. It's just that... Man, it really has the potential to just strip fun away from the run. Like, we got the, uh... The Pitch Black... And then we got Barf, and then we got um, one that's going to literally steal one of my relics. So, all in all, it's really been disappointing. I feel like the trade, uh, the trader guy is not going to be a good call. Personally, I would imagine, I would imagine. Okay. Because, like, if we're if we're gonna lose a relic at the end of this, we don't want to consolidate our relics into one relic. You know what I'm saying? Uh. What would I? What would I ditch? I mean, I, I could ditch. I, I guess I don't get a pick. That's the thing. Like, I get a kind of pick, but I don't really get the pick. It's gonna be between two things over and over. Fire rate and fills up the soul bar at the beginning of each area. It's so good. That's actually irrelevant. Uh, this is just so good. This is just great. More fire rate. Oh my god. Tap, 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 Oh my god. What a earn, what a earn, what a earn. So we, we don't have full range across the entire map. So clearly this run is bad.
Okay. Obviously, obviously. If we can't shoot everything across the entire screen without even thinking about it, this runs bad. Next. I mean, I'm not going to say the thing that can't be named. But I'll just say this is a good, this has been a very good run. I have the reflection. I'll tell you what, the, the item we get is actually good. So, and I, I'm going to be honest, I don't think I'm going to need the uh, invincibility. Well, this item itself isn't good, but the upgrade that it turns into is really good. Okay. Don't you. Telefrag me! Alright, there goes a hitless run. Literally on the telefrag. Uh, it's it's genuinely one of my least favorite things in the game still. Uh the telefragging system. Like I know it gives the heads up, but there's just so much inconsistency in um like how when they come out in their tag pad and everything like that, I and I know it's like really tricky to probably get that to come go out cleanly, but it's just so annoying, man. It's so annoying. If that's the only hit I get because of a telefrag, we'll have to. We'll probably usually whenever we get hit, we start playing in a way where we get hit more though. So probably, probably not the case. And it's probably better for my mental health if that uh, that little hit was not the difference between me getting the hitless run achievement already or not. Boop. Okay, so this is an actually actually a secret room. Okay. What all does luck control? That's a big question I have. Controls everything. Your run is so lucky. No, 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 no. I know. I know this run is lucky. But this run was lucky before we had luck stat. <laughs> before we even got a luck stat, this run was already lucky. So it's hard to really say what exactly is coming from luck. The luck, the luck stat. Not like I'm not talking cosmic luck. I'm talking literally the stat named luck. Kind of hoping for uh, damage there, not HP. Go, 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 go. My friend. You're dead. You're done, son. No seeds of the bun. Cool. Up to a hundred there. Do not heal. It is just suboptimal. Uh, you know, I'll upgrade the glass shard because again, like, worst comes to worst, it's a good item. Do I? And we're probably at, we're on pace. For, oh, we get to pick. That okay? That that's better. That's better. That's better. Do I like it? No, but it's way better. Like, if there's literally one item where, like, if I lose this item, this run is gonna suck. Like that kind of a thing. Uh, you'll be fine. We want to do that because we're going to get a double heal right here. There's, I'm sure there's stuff I could sacrifice, but I really, like, I don't have enough that I need to upgrade that I care. There we go. God, I love that. I love the, can't, I can't believe it's not monster energy drink. Yeah, and I'm coming here because we are so unbelievably OP that it should be irrelevant. And we already got the, uh... ooh, man, I love that we can find secret into this. So easily. Ah, I'm just having a good time, okay? I just really like this run. It's just a fun, it's a fun type of strong. Okay, I see that ticket down there. Bouncy ball. I just have so many of these and I, I haven't started to use them yet. Again, it's it's probably like a um, post shard 30 thing. I think that that's really more it. I never search for secret rooms in that zone because usually they're, it's, well, A, it's just so annoying to move around. B, there's a, a lot, usually a lot of levels, a lot of different floor layout levels where it could be. 
I'm a, I, I don't know if I'm supposed if I should be allowed to spoil something, so I'm not going to. But let me just tell you, I cannot wait for the next update. I'm so excited. What the hell is that? I don't think I've ever seen that in before. I won't. I won't speak more than this. I'll say, uh, if you're bothered by me not coming here, yeah, I'll probably end up coming here a bit more in the future. All right. Well, there's this. Okay, so if we skip a chest, we get a chest at the end. I don't know. It's weird though. We want to attack everything. Great. Damage up 10%. Uh, your bullets orbit around you. Yes, they do. I'm afraid of taking that. I'm afraid it'll ruin things. I'm afraid it'll ruin things. Like, my, my bullets already orbit around me. I don't know what I need. Like, the range up would be cool and all, but I don't really care. Don't heal. Actually, it would have been, it would be fine if we heal, but I don't want to heal. There we go. Two free items in the tower top. Three items in the tower top. Oh god. Okay, charge it up and then unleash. Go, 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 go. I didn't know how that was gonna work with the physics of those, so. Tower top enemies, tower top enemies. Scoot, 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 scoot. Key. Thank you. I might as well heal. I don't think I'm. I don't know, there's a mini boss which changes things up. I was gonna say, I don't think we'll make it to the end uh, and fully heal. There's a chance. I don't know. I also don't know how much I'm really gonna be upgrading. And we have a free relic hammer, so like, the amount of things we're gonna be upgrading is pretty minimal. With health, at least. And then we have, yeah, the mini boss, four rooms after. It's just, it's just nuts, uh oh. Get out, get out, get out. No, it's, don't you telefrag me. Thank you. God, I'm strong. I just found that out now. Oh, boy. Yep. Yeah, I don't know about the, like, I, I really like, it's working well today, the multiple rooms, because we're super, super strong, but I'm, okay, that sucked super bad. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that we did not miss the perfect run achievement on one hit. But that, that was a, that was a rough and the crabs always messed me up a bit. Their pattern is, is so specific, and thus you would think it'd be really easy to dodge. I just realized we finally didn't get a curse. But you know what I mean by curse. I'm not going for chaos. If it hits, if it hits my uh, my bullet shoot bullets items or item, it would be really disappointing. I'm really hoping this is a, a one-wave son of a gun. Okay. We might miss out on some souls if we don't go then. Okay. Yeah. Luck has to... Has to affect end of room drops like this. It literally has to. We got two... T two tickets as well. Two paradise. All right. All right. I feel like this is going to be pretty solid. Like, there's some situations where, uh, where we can just sit and um, charge up for a bit and then unleash hell. Oh. Right, right, right. Uh, 
Bring it on. You're dead. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Extra memento. Extra shield, though. Ugh. Go. Go. There's nothing we do over here, right? It's I just I, I come here so rarely nowadays. I just don't even remember. All right. We have a free hammer. Bullet range. Familiar that shoots freezing bullets is actually really good because we get the buff up. Oh, that's right. We don't get any more upgrades. God, it's so... Man, that's such a disappointing thing. It really feels like you should get... Stabs effects applied to enemies to spear quickly. Okay, that's fine. It really feels like you should get one more metro. Like, one more standard metro after tower top. Okay, well, there goes that perfect floor, because that guy just uh, dropped right on my head. Pinsered me. It's okay, at least the anxiety of it's off. Again, if we want to go for perfect floor, we can just go play on easy baby mode with, you know, we can drop it down to zero shard and... Or, well, no, we have to, we have... No, it's shard five. We or, um, Sorry, act five. It's not the final one. We can literally do it on shard zero. We don't even have to do it on shard five. Did I hit a secret? Don't even have to do it on shard five. Missiles on death, chance to inflict bleed. Those pierce enemies sounds kind of fun. Even more fire raid is really funny, though. Just for the sake of the funny. The most fire raid imaginable. You got him. You stay, I go no follow. Like, on top of the fact that we were, like, shooting so many charmed, charmed bullets, too. There's a secret one here, I'm pretty sure. God, I love this gun for every reason under the sun. I I didn't think I was going to necessarily... It's not that I didn't think I was going to like it. I was like, ooh, I, I don't know. I don't know how usable this is. But it's way more flexible than I would have thought. And obviously, it's very susceptible to synergy. That's the thing I've really found about the Orbit Gun, is you would think it would suck. But it does not. Like, I feel like the stationary version has the highest chance of um, maybe not being very good. But even that, I think, is very good. I think the Orbit Gun is just really nice. And the, the thing is, it has to be. If the Orbit Gun was not really nice, like really powerful... It would feel very bad. That's the thing. It's it's like a tricky... It's a tricky balance gun. If this gun was weak... If this gun was even like a little weak... And it was kind of a weirder to use... Just the orbit gun in general... People would hate it. Like, they would hate it with, the, with a passion. So it's it's a it's a weird one. It walks a fine line. Man, if we if we perfected the run on it, one where we added 30% extra floors or whatever too, like and 30% extra floors and like multi waves of enemies on top of it, that would be a Chad maneuver. Get this first. More important that we don't miss that. Enemies explode on death and into bullets that can hurt other enemies. Ah! This ruined my laser run. It's a really good item, but it literally completely ruined my laser run. It com it just it broke it completely. That pains me to do. But I don't think it would be a fun thing. Okay. Alright. Bonk. Bonk. Alright, I think it's actually here. <laughs> oh, we could probably break something in one at this point. 
we gotta be careful. Crit chance up another 5%. So, crit chance is not on the stat chart. But I just saw it go up to 60, 65. That's my fire rate for moving. So crit is not on there. But we have like a pretty high crit chance. And our now our crit damage is also off the charts good too. There's no point to go there. Maybe we'll get really, really lucky and get six keys on the next floor. Imagine. You know what I just realized? We have a 50% chance to not get a shop. And we hit that 50% on every single floor. I just realized that. We literally hit that 50% on every floor. Okay, he's gonna do that thing. That's good, good, good. I'd say that's free DPS right now, because he's not gonna really make it out of this phase. Right? Hate this move. What have I done? Go, 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 go. Why? Why, 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 why? Does that count as moving? I feel like it doesn't actually. Nice. Uh, but also it's disappointing that, um, we were one hit away in a stupid situation from getting that perfect floor that we need. I don't even know if I wanted that extra HP right there. This is weird. All right, I'm not looping. Relics are a mystery until collected. Mm. Here's the thing, I hate that. That's another one that I really can't stand from like a content creation standpoint. Like, there's some things that I really feel like I can't really take. Unfortunately, it's not that I'll never do uh, this thing again, but, like, we get a 25% chance to hit it, and it happened every time but once. Two, three, three, three. Okay, fine. I'll just print screen, paint... All right, here we go. All right. Pop it in there. So glad that you can't just, like, lose this item forever because you punched in the code wrong now. Two, three, three, three. One, 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 two, four, one. What is it? What could it be? What if it... What if it ran... Oh, my God. I'm so glad that that's not, like randomize all the curses and everything too like that you know what screw the screw the freaking shields i don't need them i don't need the health either this is the most uh like the biggest massacre run i think i've had i i think it may be It, it genuinely might be. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like, I've had some really strong runs, but this one is next level silly. Oh my god. Unleash hell. Go, 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 go. The fact that we... Yeah. Okay, I'm just... You know what? Screw the shields. Assert dominance. No chaos. We could... It's just because we could lose uh, an item that's making this run interesting. Da -da -da. Okay, good. Blast them. 
Elite boy. Head boy. He's got the shield on him. He's got the shield on him, that madman. Go, go, go. Oh my god. Like, the fact that we are here on this run where we have, like, all of these extra... What? All these extra floors. We have three extra floors in every zone because of the shard modifier. It's nuts. I will probably not keep it on too often, though. Like, you could argue that maybe having them all on is part of what helped this run be so strong. I think that could be the case, but I really think it comes down to a couple of the items we got, really. And then it snowballed out of control because this is really... It's really a game of the rich get richer, you know? Like, truthfully. It's, you know, that, down to, like, every every concept, you know? It's just like, you, you start to play better, and then you will just find a lot of great results at, out of it, you know? That's always the case in roguelikes. Playing well gives you more chances to be lucky. But this game takes that up to 11. It's, always, it's like, play well, get more chances to get lucky mixed with a play worse and you get less chances to get lucky, which sounds like the same thing, but you know. It ain't. Okay. What have I done? It's okay. Well, we, good. We wouldn't... We didn't lose our perfect there either. That's, that's a three-hit run, you know? So far. So far. I'll, I'll probably take another now that I don't even have the stress of a perfect mother that means nothing. Like, per perfecting mom doesn't mean anything. Oops, hold on. Did I? Oh my god. I. That's, that's my screenshot. It looked like my video wasn't recording, but that's because I copy and pasted the, the watch thing into paint. And it messed it up. Made it, look, it made it look like I wasn't recording. Because it was a screenshot of my OBS. Oh my god. Oh, that was satisfying. That's satisfying. Lolt. Lolt. Well, that, that would have been... Ooh, that would have been the most annoying one. Or that. Okay, there, there's a lot of annoying hits going on. Just, like, slightly goofy hits. There was no shot of a, of a perfect run on this. But again, again, again... Uh... A perfect run can end at at Act 5. You don't even need to do Last Refuge to technically win a perfect run. You just do it on Act 0, and you only have to go to Acceptance, you know? Also, you don't have to have 26 levels of Shard modifiers. So, is it a rough achievement? Absolutely. But is it as rough as having the perfect uh, a run on Shard 26? No. That is it. The hand has a hitbox. That's good intel. I'm happy we learned that here. Really good intel that the hand has a hitbox. Okay. Yeah, my swamp. Nerd. Let's go get the, get the shard. Don't don't jump before I get the shard. All right, good. We get another prison key too. Reinforced shield. I mean, that seems like my jam. I don't know what.
that would do, but here we are. Getting a couple extra freebie things. Why not? Why not? We'll probably put like a hard cap on it. Absolutely. Absolutely hard of ice. Having lots and lots of items is a great way to win this one here. Like, we also have really high base damage, so, like, we've got a good setup at it. Okay. Get rid of that. Setup at a base. Oop, 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 oop. But we're going to lose our attack speed, you know? Like, we're going to... What a tough choice. Slowly but surely, we're losing our run. We're getting whittled away. Oops. Honestly... We can take a couple hits and it won't even matter because we're going to have to give up max HP. That's a 10% damage down, I guess. Okay. Just keep my lava lamp. That's all I want. Just keep the lava lamp. Okay. Probably should have gone for the crit chance. But, like, we have the other crit items, so it's really nice in combination. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, no. Shoot. Oh, my God. I thought you freaking crashed on me. I was like, I hate everything. I didn't even know you could get in the league here. I didn't think you could get in the league here. Obviously, I don't need a relic hammer every zone. That does not matter to me. That freaked me out. I genuinely thought this whole run was not going to count. Imagine it not counting if I got a perfect. If I did get a perfect. Because it, I know from experience that that does not count for unlocks. It would, uh, it would count for an achievement unlocks, but it would not count for like in-game unlocks. So that would be a nightmare, man. Freebies all around. It's sad, but hey, that makes it so the uh, familiars get extra damage business doesn't matter as much. Okay. Again, I still have a, a max HP up or so that I can... Bitch. Tormented Soul is good. Also, what is luck even doing for us anymore? Maybe I maybe I don't need luck. I would assume it would be related to crit chance in some way. From other games, but I don't know if that's the case. Ugh. Ooh, boy, that one hurt. We're getting really down to the spot where everything is going to hurt real bad, though. No matter what we do. It's all gonna hurt. Definitely can get rid of Pouch of Toys. It's irrelevant for us. Oof. We're gonna get to like Shard or uh, Void 20 before we're out of items. Definitely range up over fire rate up. Is range up nice? Sure. Does it make a world of a difference for us? No, not even a little. Not even at all. Yep. Yep, we're in we're in hell now. This is this is where the good stuff goes. Do we have any more HP ups? I was, wait I was waiting for that one to show up. I was absolutely clamoring for that to go away. I wonder if our base damage is just good enough to carry us for a long time, though. Even after Lava Lamp. 
I think I can manage a, a 35% fire rate while moving. Over the, over just the, oh. Over the base there. Noticeable as hell. Noticeable as hell. Yeah, I don't know if luck is important or not for us. Man, we made, yeah, we made it to 20 before it even did anything there. Ugh. All right, we'll keep the item that was most fun for last here. We'll keep the fun one. Doesn't matter. They're, they're all going to have to go away in a room or so. They're literally out of everything. Lava lamp last. Theoretically, we can keep it for last. Does it not take the, the Polaroid picture or the... Um, I just walked into that. Hmm. It can take the old photo. No, you, there's, I don't think there's anything special for saving that for last. Oop. Or the watch. I think that's just... I think it's just a thing, man. Alright. Me, just me and my lava lamp. Just a boy and his lava lamp. Alright. Goodbye, sweet prince. Goodbye. Sweet prince. Maybe we quit at 25. Maybe we quit at 25. I don't know. I, I could... Depending on how this feels right now... How do we do for damage? I feel like we could last a little while depending on how difficult things get. Like... If they, if they spice themselves up more than this or not. Because we actually have really good damage. It's like our base stats and this gun are nice. Oh, well, we'll get a room like this. We'll get a room like this and we're going to have nightmares. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not, okay, I'm not too worried about it going too far then. If you get the right type of run, though, I could see you going infinite here. Like, or up to whatever the cap is, like 100 or something. Genuinely. Because if you just have a run that's all stats, just like stats on stats on stats on stats on stats, like there's certain items that have permanent effects long past when you pick them up. Boop, boop, boop. If you just had a run filled with a lot of items like that, this run, or this, uh, you could probably have, like, a kill everything the second you enter the room kind of a floor here. That being said, like, some of this is trash. Some of the layout is just, it's brutal. Like, it, it's here for a reason. Because it's, like, just a randomized setup. Yeah. A randomized hodgepodge of garbage. A hodgepodge of garbage. Take me to 30 land. Oh, we were already in 30 land. Oh, wait, wait, what? Whoop, whoop. Cheese it. Oh my. Big boy must go. I think we actually have a good enough distance that we don't have to worry about much here. Alright. I will die one day. Was it going to be 40? 40 gonna kill me? Give me the, uh... Oh my god, I didn't th think those went through the wall, but that makes sense. Because my things go through the wall. Please. 
Lol. Get wrecked. Styled upon. Oh, hell. What? The underwater is probably going to be it, huh? Alright. Ba 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 you probably could tell I was trying to go up there. Yeah, I just wanted to see if I can. Yeah, I could. I can. That, that's what I was trying to do. Yep. There's 40. Boink, boink, boink. I mean, this is... We're getting a lot of materials. I don't know, I've gotten like, I've gotten like, what, 50, 60 extra materials or something? Oh, this is, that, that was fun. I'm going to die very shortly, I think. I'm at a heart and a half. I literally don't have items. The only reason you're making it far is because of your RNG and your items. Okay, I'm gonna take damage over there. I kind of just decided. Here we go. Here we go. Take me. Take me. I'm ready to go to the great beyond. I'm not going to go willingly, but I am ready to go to the great beyond. Oop. That's a bad sign. Wait, what? What? These rooms are not made equal. I know that they're not made at all. Like, they're basically just randomness, but, like, still. Okay. All right. Squeeze out one more. Uno mas. Hey! We did it. 45. We'll take it. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good amount of extra stuff there from that. Here it is. Here's the death. No, there is no end to the void. No, there's not like an end that I'm supposed to make it to. Yeah, that was obviously going to be a death. <laughs> there, was, there was not anywhere to go. Woo, baby. Woo, baby. I like it. Nice run. Very nice run. That's another shard climb. Are we on 27? 27! 30 is very much in sight. For the Retromation Red Hoodie getting added to the game, we are very close. I have exactly 20. I feel like there's not another gun that I have available to unlock this second. Oh, charge gun. I'm wrong. And after that, I literally just have the rocket launch to unlock. Uh, charge gun variant. The charge is much faster, but overheats when used for too long at a time. Oh, interesting. Kill me! Kill me! I bet you this lets you... Die in a normal run. Oh, wait. Ooh. It does fire at a certain point. Very cool. Very, very cool. I will say, first things first, I'm going to get these hats. Because I think we just have two left that we can get from the machine at the very least. Sailor cap. Maybe I'm wrong. Idea. 
We are literally out of hats to buy that we can get from that. Everything else has to be gotten either this way or from like the dailies and stuff. Uh, but that's great. Good. No more do we have to uh, spend on that. Not that it was bad to spend on. I'm going to get... Wait. Let's go for that for a second. Sure. Sure. Let's go for some, some, some wild stuff there. But yeah, we'll check out this gun tomorrow. It seems interesting. I'm curious what it's like. I, the fact that it can hurt you is obviously very, very scary. But alas, alas, that is that. I'm going to go get my my true hat. So when it overheats, it goes back down to the bottom, too. It's almost like we're supposed to tap shoot right here. Yeah. Oh, no. It's a new carpal tunnel gun. It's a new carpal tunnel gun, isn't it? We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, right. Scoot. All right. Well, well, well. Alas, alas. Very close now to the 30 shard goal. What will we do after that? We'll figure it out. I don't know yet. But that's the last big thing. That's the last thing there's unlocks for in the game as well. So after that, who freaking knows? Uh, we'll, we'll readjust. We'll reassess then. Let me know now. I think we can probably start to get to the point where you can comment down below what exactly you would like to see after the Shard 30 is completed. What do you want then? Alas, alas, though. That is that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Check out the channel for Rogue more every single day. Make sure to like and comment this video. Comment this video. Comment on this video. It really does matter a lot. Helps out a lot with the old algorithm. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.